Hi, this is Ben Finio from Science Buddies, and this video will show you how to wind a coil of wire using a power drill. First, set up a popsicle stick, pencil, or pen between a stack of heavy textbooks as shown here. You will use this to hold your spool of wire. You can also improvise and use something like a paper towel holder. Anything that holds the spool of wire and allows it to rotate will work. Next, you'll need to find a drill bit that fits snugly inside the tube that you will use to wind the coil. You may need to improvise and do something like use duct tape to securely hold the tube onto the drill bit. Once you've securely attached the tube to the drill bit, secure the drill bit firmly in the drill chuck. Now you're ready to start winding. Place the drill on top of the stack of textbooks. You may want to start out by getting a couple of the coils done by hand. Next, use the drill by placing it on its lowest power setting. You use one hand to squeeze the trigger on the drill, and the other hand to very gently and slowly feed the wire back and forth along the length of the tube. You don't want to go too fast, have the wire snag, and create a knot. Just be patient and move one hand back and forth slowly so you evenly coat the tube in new layers of wire. If you hit a snag or the wire gets stuck, immediately let go of the trigger on the drill and then manually reverse a few coils until you can undo the snag and then start again from that point. You will probably find it difficult to keep track of how many revolutions the drill has made. Instead, try counting how many revolutions it makes in a period of 20 or 30 seconds, and then use that to calculate how long you need to run the drill to make a coil with a certain number of turns. So we hope this handy trick will save you some time over winding the coil manually, and have fun with your project.